next Fortnite Live event will be absolutely insane. Here's everything new in Fortnite. Here's a police car spotted in Fortnite back on the map. Let's go to this exact location and see is it in game. So I asked the person who leaked it where it is in game and he said it's on the island in the top right corner of the map. This is the island right here on the right side of the map. So all we are going to do is go to the east island, drop on down, and let's see if police cars are really back in Fortnite. Keep in mind, they have been gone for years, and the last time they were in game, no cars whatsoever were drivable. So can we finally drive cop cars in Fortnite? Let's drop down and let's see the cop car in 3, 2, 1. All right, looking all around this island, I don't see any cop car yet. Yet. Um, they're not here at all. I have to do more research. Here's a tweet. They added police cars back and I got this picture. They removed them again shortly after, but they are still on Spawn Island in Battle Lab for some reason. Is this true? Let's test it out. But to get the police car, we need to go to Spawn Island in Battle Lab somehow. Here's how you can glitch to Spawn Island in the middle of a game. Go to this area on the map, throw five crash pads, and then boom! This is perfect because Crash Pad just got unvaulted today. It's almost like Fortnite wants us to see cop cars if this is real. Okay, this is Spawn Island right over here and apparently there's police cars on the island and they forgot to remove them. So we have the Crash Pads, we have the car and all we are going to do is fly our way to Spawn Island. Now all we have to do, throw down one Crash Pad, throw down another one, keep on throwing them. Come on, come on. All right, this has to work. All right, all of the crash pads are placed. Now let's go inside of the car. Three, two, one, go! No! I guess we will never know. This normal looking crew pack image actually revealed one of the biggest upcoming Fortnite updates. Take a look at this image and tell me if you notice anything. Teasing an upcoming Fortnite feature that no one knows about. If you look in the top left hand corner, that is a Fortnite Mare zombie. But not any normal looking zombie that is a fully chromified zombie that right now we do not have in game. Fortnite is very sneaky with everything they do and they do everything on purpose. This Fortnite Mares hasn't given us too much content yet, so I 100% suspect that in the next upcoming day, we're about to see chrome zombies in Fortnite. For the next myth, my haters are telling me that I can't reach 5 million subscribers. So please, if you're a fan, hit the subscribe button and help me reach 5 million. What if I told you I have God Mode right now? Inside of my inventory, I have a pumpkin launcher and I'm about to shoot it right at my feet and not take any damage. Let me show you how to do this. All I'm going to do is aim it straight down and three, two, one. Look at that. No damage whatsoever. But how did I do it? These plants, all you have to do is sit inside of these plants and it will totally break your game and give you no damage to any gun. Myth confirmed. Every single day, Fortnite is teasing more about the upcoming chapter four and literally nobody is talking about this. It was a new back bling that was released and it looks completely normal. It's called Chrome Seed and this is what it looks like. However, if you take a look, it was introduced this season, but the description description of it says a beginning for the end. Fortnite sure is talking about the end a lot. And it's especially weird considering we are only four seasons into Fortnite Chapter 3. Speaking of chrome, there is something very dangerous involving the chrome. You can see all of the chrome is starting on the right side and completely spreading to the center of the map, but you can see no matter where you look, all of the chrome is pointing towards the dead reality tree. This is bad because the chrome is spreading very, very quickly. And you're probably wondering what bad things are going to happen once the chrome reaches the reality tree. How is this chrome spreading though? I have a crazy theory that we are actually destroying the Fortnite map as we know it without even realizing it. Every time we throw a piece of chrome and become a blob, we are destroying the map by allowing this chrome to spread. It's the same with becoming a blob, throwing chrome at objects. Anytime you do anything chrome related, that is what's causing this chrome corruption to the map. But there is a big issue happening while this chrome is spreading. What is in the middle of all of this chrome none other than the devourer's bones. Although for now the chrome missed the bones, there is a clear path for this chrome to actually hit the bones. And we know the chrome has healing power. Every time you use it, you reach
regain health. The Devourer could be revived very soon when we least expect it, but the issues only get worse. Along with the Devourer, there is another monster skull on the map. And let's just say the Chrome is also coming towards Glombo. So what if they both get revived? Glombo and the Devourer have actually never met before, and it would be very interesting if they fought. We know the robot emoted after he eliminated the Devourer, and it was recently leaked that Glombo has a new dancing animation. Could he eliminate the Devourer emote? And Glombo saves the entire island. Comment down below your thoughts. And on top of all of this, Fortnite V23 Season 5 slash Chapter 4 is being tested by Epic already. They are going super quick with the updates. How are they already testing next season? That means it must be big. That means it definitely could be Chapter 4. Comment down below your thoughts. Okay, apparently there's a secret room in Fortnite Season 4 hinting at Chapter 4. There is a secret room not many players know about. If you climb up from the cornfield side and break this wall, there's a Chapter 4 room. Room. Let's see if it's true. Okay, it should be at this exact location that I marked on the map. It kind of makes sense that Fortnite would tease something like this, especially because of how fast the chrome is spreading towards the reality tree. As soon as the chrome hits the tree, we literally could get chapter four. So let's see what's inside of this room. Okay, we are at the exact right location and inside of this room should be the chapter four secret. All I'm going to do is break inside and let's see. Okay, there is a completely up upside down house upside down tv upside down paintings upside down chest literally everything is completely upside down but how does this relate to chapter four we know that the fortnite island completely flipped in the last chapter could this be fortnite baiting and teasing the fact that the island might flip again in fortnite chapter four we could be going back to the chapter two side of the island but completely different comment down below your thoughts here's more evidence as to why you should never use the chrome this is a fully chrome car but look what happens if you use chrome and turn into a blob chances of getting eliminated are much higher as you can see here comes a chrome blob and if you're on the edge of a mountain and you shoot you are gone don't use chrome on a mountain this is a brand new runway location in fortnite and what do you see on top of the runway that is none other than a plane that are set to be returning to the game but are they already here let's drop down to that location okay i can see the runway itself and all we are going to do is go to the exact same spot hold on what is that oh there's no plane there's no plane i, I literally thought planes were back but hold on why haven't they returned new hotfix it seems like planes have been delayed challenges requiring them this week have been removed but crash pads were just unvaulted who knows what fortnite is doing next who knows what they are planning fortnite chapter 4 is looking insane